because many are upset over the deputy who did nothing. Joining us now, National Patrol, Border Patrol Council Vice President Art Del Cuello. Uh, Art, your thoughts about at least the initial news that we've heard uh, with this deputy sheriff? Well, you know, that's a little bit outside of my league when it comes to the, to the county sheriffs. But uh, to be honest, unless you've been involved in a shooting, unless you've been there, I would hate anybody to be Monday morning quarterbacking any of that. That's, I, I get what you're saying, and that, that's, a, that's fair, but he was paid to actually to, to do a certain job, right? He was trained to do a certain job in law enforcement, uh, and, and his boss reviewed the tapes. His boss reviewed all the footage and everything else and determined that somehow something went horribly wrong, that he didn't do his job. Uh, he was suspended without pay, then he resigned. <clears throat> and listen, I know you probably are loathe to go after another law enforcement official, but the American public wants to understand, can we send our children to school? And, and if this is a person who made a mistake, let's at least admit it and maybe make sure there are ways to prevent it. I mean, what's wrong with having an honest conversation about this? I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong. Honestly, the thing is, uh, there's a lot of things that, that can go wrong. There's a lot of things that go into the emotions. You can train, train, train. But you just never know. Uh, but I can tell you one thing, that training and people that are trained are a lot better off than those that aren't. And that's the reality of things. Yeah. All right, I've got a next one for you because President Trump now has been floating the idea of removing ICE agents from California. Let me share this with you in the audience. Roll tape. We're getting no help from the state of California. I mean, frankly, if I wanted to pull our people from California, you would have a crime nest like you've never seen in California. All I'd have to do is say, ICE and Border Patrol, let California alone. You'd be inundated. You would see crime like nobody's ever seen crime in this country. They are doing a lousy management job. But frankly, it's a disgrace. Uh, the sanctuary city situation, the protection of these horrible criminals. That if we ever pulled our ICE out, if we ever said, hey, let California alone, let them figure it out for themselves. In two months, they'd be begging for us to come back. They would be begging. And you know what? I'm thinking about doing it. All right, Art, uh, potential crime nest. What are your thoughts? You know, it comes down to the sanctuary cities. It's a big deal. Uh, and what happens with these sanctuary cities is it creates a magnet for individuals to cross into the country thinking they have an area where they can have as a safe haven. And, you know, it's unfair for the people of uh, those cities, and it's unfair for the country, and it's unfair for Border Patrol agents. What this causes is a huge amount of <laughs> illegal aliens to come across the border knowing there's a spot that they can go and hang out and hide and no one's going to touch them. Uh, and what that does is potentially it puts agents' lives at risk out there on that border. And, of course, uh, that's the reality. Uh, places like California have taken it a step further, uh, you know, not even cooperating with federal authorities uh, you know, in ICE w with respect to some of these folks who are wanted, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, just releasing them, thumbing their nose at this. And to your point, it doesn't it, it's ironic that, or sadly ironic perhaps, that it hurts the very communities that purportedly these politicians in California and other places say they care about. You know, politicians are put in positions uh, to protect uh, the people. And part of that protection is you have to enforce the laws that are on the book. When you decide to pick and choose what laws you're going to uh, enforce, you're taking away those protections from the citizens that you're supposed to be taking care of. And another, that's the reality. Another one for you, Art. Uh, I want you to look at this tweet uh, from President Trump. Quote, MS-13 gang members are being removed by our great ICE and patrol, uh, Border Patrol agents by the thousands. But these killers come back from El Salvador and through Mexico like water. El Salvador just takes our money. And Mexico must help more with this problem. We need the wall. Your thoughts on that? What can I say? You have a president in this country that actually understands that we need to secure our borders. We have a president in this country that actually understands that the number one priority should be protecting the citizens that are living in the United States. I mean, I think he's doing a bang-up job. 